there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. As I was saying before I was really interrupted by a fucking bill collector, which I paid on the bill. Think of a shooting. It usually just has, like, young people. What do we normally do? You see, you'll see it on the news all the time too. Every 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 couple months, you'll see the story. You'll see somebody, you know, they do the old Texas two step, as I call it nowadays. They'll do the old, you know, get on TV and whine. Why? Why this happens to us? Ooh, you'll see the old waterworks. That we gotta stand up to this in the violence and community. I've been hearing this for the last 30, 40, fucking 50 years. Not even 50 either. I'm not 40 either. But we've been hearing this. Ooh, that's the one part. Then the second part, they do the old traditional Negro Baton Death March. Here's what they do. They get there, they get the shuffle on their feet, and they gotta give you that good old Negro hymn. They'll give you, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome one day. That's the Negro two, Texas two step. They do the old Negro baton death march and they do the old spiritual. And then the story goes. But if you follow up on that story, which I've done a couple times with these groups, they don't do shit. They, they, what they do is they do it up until the limelight. And then after the limelight, they may do it for like a month or two, but that two, after that two month window, it's on to the next one. And here's another one. Since you guys are so proud, you know, you don't mean to embarrass the black community, but this can go on. There was a shooting down in Jacksonville, Florida, where some computer software designer or some analyst, whatever, shot the young black kid in a, in a, in a restaurant parking lot in Jacksonville, Florida. Where were all you boot shuffling Negroes? Where are you at? Where were you guys at? Now this was a white guy killing a black guy, a black kid. Where were you guys at? Where was where was all the protesting at? Where were all your hoodies at? Where were where was the outcry of support for the family? Where was the outcry of justice at? You know why there wasn't no outcry of justice? Because you Negroes didn't see it on the media, it wasn't as prevalent on the media. On some news channels, it was a side note, you know, another black, white guy kills a young black male. I saw that one. And I, and like me and one, one friend, we were talking, we were like, I want to see how this story plays out. Now, I gave you guys a while to do shit about it. The trial's happening, or if it's not happening now, this is like the, this is the Thursday before Valentine's Day. So there's been a, this trial's going on. You guys, it has been happening. I haven't seen none of you boot shufflers. I never seen none of your Negro marching asses out there. I didn't see no Jesse Jackson. I didn't see no Al Sharpton. I didn't see them bang the drum on MSNBC like they do. You wanna know why? Because this was a non-story. Because it, it, it was one side versus the other. This was just another typical crime scene problem. Now I don't think anybody deserves to die, but we don't know what happened. If the guy just up and shot him over music, he's gonna get his. But I heard about this story last year, and still none of you, none of you bootlickers, none of you, none of you DNC parrots. I didn't see none of you guys do one thing as far as doing doing a, a, a overtly enormous action compared to the Trayvon Martin buffoonery that y'all did. Y'all were crying, y'all were marching. We're gonna take over the streets. Look, man. You can't even take over your own fucking electric bill. How are you going to take on the streets and fight for injustice? You can't even fight your electric from going up. No, you can't even pay it. That's what I'm here for. I'm just sick and tired when I hear you're making a black community look bad, and then I look to see who says it. It's usually one of you boot shufflers, and you do, the like I said, the old Negro Texas two-step. You give us your little march, your, your Negro baton death march, and you give us the old spiritual hymn. 
I know everybody has seen this. It happens to go to any major city where there's a young death. The Hispanics do it different way. The Asians do theirs different. White people just party all the time. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but that's what they do. But like I said, I'm tired of hearing a lot of you guys saying that I'm making a black community look bad, or other YouTubers are making a black community look bad, when they're, at least they're fostering a conversation, at least they're fostering a debate, they're fostering some ideas how to correct the situation. Meanwhile, you guys are fostering the old game plan. Look, man, here's how bad it is. You guys are the Denver Broncos, and we're the Seattle Seahawks. We're not letting you, you, letting you guys do is, is doing anything. We're like shutting you guys down. So, back to the pretend Negro death march and the old spiritual hymns. You know how that's, that's apparently been working, but you can't talk about that. All you can do is say, oh, in a side note, if you can't, about not talk about it. How come you guys are letting a lot of these programmings that make black people look like complete fucking baboons? These are the programs y'all love. Y'all don't love nothing like on like Nova or something. And, I, and for some of you, you're going to have to look what Nova is up. And that's obvious from right now. From what I'm dealing with, you guys are going to have to look Nova up. You guys don't care about it. You, you guys make your little token gesture to Black History Month, then it's on to the next one. I'm sure you got you, what you do, you'll post your little George Washington Carver. He invented peanut butter or the star mighty something, I don't know. You'll post your little Jackie Robinson. He, he was the first black Negro in football. You'll post your little Barack Obama, the black, black, first black person to make the president. Which now here comes a surprise. I'm not wrong, twisting a side note. White people are not trying to claim him. I'm like, hold up. Whenever one of these black buffoons do bad, you don't want to claim him. But the minute the black guy becomes president, well, hold up there, hold up there, Sparky. He's half white. That's not how it goes, bro. That one jump law was your law. Don't try to cop it. Don't try to back out now because he's in the office. You know. Oh, that's a side note. That's another story that I want to discuss later. But uh, as far as talking down, I'm not talking down. I'm trying to do something for these kids out there because the Texas Two Steps not working. You got to find something other than them blabbing on TV. And the black church ain't trying to solve no problem. The black church is trying to pill for your problems. So you can get mad at me for talking about this. The show's going to go on. The show, because the buffoonian coonery is what America wants. And you know black folks, you got to give them what they want. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.